Dr. Tess Laurie is a world-class researcher and consultant to the World Health Organization. Her biggest clients happen to be those who are involved in the suppression of the purpose drugs. She has decided to speak out in protest against the current medical establishment at considerable personal risk. According to the Dessert Review report, she co-founded the Bird Panel, an international group of experts dedicated to the transparent and accurate scientific research of ivermectin. On April 24, 2021, she convened the International Ivermectin for COVID Conference, the first such symposium in the world held to focus on ivermectin to prevent and treat COVID-19. During the conference, she delivered a monumental closing address, one that will be recorded in the annals of medical history. They who design the trials and control the data also control the outcome. So this system of industry-led trials needs to be put to an end. Data from ongoing and future trials of novel COVID treatments must be independently controlled and analyzed. Anything less than total transparency cannot be trusted. The report added that Dr. Lori called the reform of the method used to analyze scientific evidence. She reported that, quote unquote, the story of ivermectin has highlighted that we are at a remarkable juncture in medical history. The tools that we use to heal and our connection with our patients are being systematically undermined by relentless disinformation stemming from corporate greed. The story of ivermectin shows that we as a public have misplaced our trust in the authorities and have underestimated the extent to which money and power corrupts. Had ivermectin been employed in 2020 when medical colleagues around the world first alerted the authorities to its efficacy, millions of lives could have been saved and the pandemic with all its associated suffering and loss brought to a rapid and timely end. Dr. Laurie called out the corruption of modern medicine by Big Pharma and other interests. She went on saying that, quote unquote, since then, hundreds of millions of people have been involved in the largest medical experiment in human history. Mass vaccination was an unproven Nobel therapy. Hundreds of billions will be made by Big Pharma and paid for by the public. With politicians and other non-medical individuals dictating to us that we are allowed to prescribe to the ill, we as doctors have been put in a position such that our ability to uphold the Hippocratic Oath is under attack. At this fateful juncture, we must therefore choose will we continue to be held ransom by corrupt organizations, health authorities, big pharma, and billionaire sociopaths, or will we do our moral and professional duty to do no harm and always do the best for those in our care? The latter includes urgently reaching out to colleagues around the world to discuss which of our tried and tested safe older medicines can be used against COVID. Finally, Dr. Laurie suggested that physicians for a new World Health Organization that represents the interests of the people, not corporations and billionaires, a people-centered organization. She said that, quote-unquote, Never before has our role as doctors been so important because never before have we become complicit in causing so much harm. I am Lovely Montoya of Manila STV.